What's up guys, this is the Brethren and I am here to bring you the very first episode of my brand new campaign as the 13 Colonies. Um, so this has won the minor faction vote. And so then we're going to crack on and play it. And the reason why I've picked this is because it's going to be, I'm planning on playing it slightly differently to my US campaign. Um, so my US campaign I was much more focused on securing Constantinople US, whereas in this one I'm not so bothered about it. I want to maintain the integrity of my empire and maybe take some take, take a few gains, like down in the pirate islands and stuff, but try and actually focus more outward, outwards in the rest of the world, mainly because world domination is boring. It's just 50 nations and I just have to hold Maryland, so that would lead you much more towards just the sticking in the America's theatre. So I'm going to pick a long campaign, because it's 35 regions, so it's still a decent length. But the actual objectives are much more interesting. They're not showing on the map, but it's uh, Egypt, Malta, Florida, Maryland, Bishapur, Bengal, Georgia. That's uh, continent of US, Georgia, not Cox's Georgia. Florida, Hindustan, Ireland, Gibraltar, New France, Leeward Island. So I have victory objectives against uh, all three of the main colonial powers in the Americas, so you know, France, Spain and Great Britain. So this is going to be a bit tricky. Um, but hard hard, uh, we're shown as Protectorate of Britain and let's crack on. I, so the mods I have, I have on my game are Darth Mod, uh, Additional Units Mod and the Darth Mod compatible version of Total Factions. And I've got this menu by setting um, the Darth Mod launcher to custom before starting and loading up the game. So let's crack on. So yes, my plan is to do this differently. Not role, what well, kind of role play the 13 colonies. So right now, if you hop onto my diplomacy. Da -da -da -da. I'm on good relations with the Cherokee and I'm on good relations with the Iroquois. So I'm going to request trade. They want an alliance. Yeah, that seems fluffy because in the in the French and Indian Wars, I think the Great Britain, the Royalists, and were allied with uh, the Iroquois Confederacy. Let's try to get some more good trade partners. Let's go to major nations first. So I'm kind of angling to go after the French, so I will pay that. Nope, 5,000 is way too much for a trade agreement for me. Let's try the Ottomans. Yep. Austrians. Yep. And I think it's going to be everyone. Good, you've got a trade empire going. Um, so when we talk about going to war with the French, it's very much a limited war, so I'd want to secure the continental possessions. Not so much bothered about Newfoundland. Um, I would want to take Quebec and um, Fort Nashwak and I would like to give Montreal to the Iroquois Confederacy because they're my allies and I want to kind of roleplay being a, a good host and particularly because I don't need to conquer all these territories I'm more inclined to kind of give them away. Um, we're in good, good, good position with the Cherokee. We're not actually allied with the Cherokee so let's try and see if we can. Good. So th already this is a very different <laughs> game to my American campaigns. I'm not just going to steam all over the native factions. Your Majesty. Let's get them inbound. Good. So, on the on the faction vote, I mistakenly said that I was not allied with Britain. And that was because I was looking at this screen, which does not show any relationship or special relationship. Um, and that's probably going to be because the game is not used to a protect not used to the, the player that's playing being a protector of another nation because if you hop onto the map um, Britain is an ally. I don't think I can actually see yeah we're allied but we don't get visibility on what they're doing presumably because we're a protectorate. So let's get ready on some spending. The first thing I want to go for is build uh, build mines that haven't been completed, build farms that haven't been completed because they're cheap and also upgrade these fur traders to get some furs on the international market. 
Still got 3,000. Okay, so we're probably going to want to do some infrastructure in Boston because my most valuable region. Can't afford another cobbled road. I think instead I'm probably going to build the next level governor's residence. Because even though Boston's not my capital, it's making the most money. Um, in terms of research, I'm actually you yes. pop into Boston, as will these guys. Emperor Gather my first force. For crown and um, one thing you will notice is I have no school. But fortunately, Hartford is going to develop in three turns, and I build a school there. So I get a few free, free, air quotes, turns to develop my economy. So everything's going okay. Can't research, I'm not recruiting anything, but I'm building up my first army. Ah yes, I did also talk about a interesting unit roster, and that interesting unit roster will come into its own when um, I start fighting against Great Britain, because we do start to get some quite interesting units if I own the British Isles. So, so if I pick uh, barracks, yeah, nothing normal there. Well, everything normal there, it's all quite as expected. Uh, drill school. Lots of the units are coming through from the additional units mod. So, you know, the infantry guards, going to guards, but Scottish Scottish line infantry, uh, Irish volunteer infantry, which here they're cream in the screen down here, they're green. Um, uh, Irish rifles, the Connacht Rangers. Uh, mountain troops, which I think are fairly unique. Like, I think. Denmark gets them in a few other of the uh, Scandinavian regions. African guards, things like that. Um, but I think I'll go all the way down to the bottom. Uh, now there's another interesting one that jumps out. Ferguson Rifleman is there. Here's the Black Watch. The Scottish Line Infantry. Uh, there they are. Highlander Warband. So if I own Scotland, I can recruit. Uh, Scots with swords and shields, probably nice big claymores, and I think that'd be really fun. I think it's going to be it. So there's a few interesting British troops, and obviously the additional units mod is still interesting stuff. Uh, but yeah, I think it might be fun. Oh, I'm going to sneeze really quickly. So yeah, so my general rule is to not expand in the Americas unless. If someone declares on me, like Spain or France, or even, I don't, I didn't, Great Britain wouldn't declare on me, but if France or Spain declare on me, then I would undergo a limited war against them. So, if, say, if Spain attacks me, I may take Cuba and some more of their islands and then try to get peace. So, I wouldn't use it as an excuse to stampede around the, the theatre and just turn into the US campaign. I want to spend my money going abroad and trying to actually have fingers in many pies. The question is, what happens? One thing I will need to develop is a strong navy. So that's why the, the start of this campaign is probably going to be a bit of a build-up. Um, because I just have trade ports, I have no actual military ports. I could knock one down, but I need to look at where they're placed. Portugal's broken their alliance with Britain. Make ready. It's going to be there somewhere. Actually, I remember I've got a spy somewhere. There he is. I want him up here to watch what the French are up to. Upgrade the mine. Boston's population is 66,000. Phillies is 18,000. Yes, you're not even trading. That is Albany. Uh, so who's growing? Yeah, Hartford's growing first. So let's make. I'm going to convert this chap into a military port. To start uh, getting ready to recruit ships or build new ships. A missionary on a mission. Uh, my missionary. Can you God's come up to Albany? I've got another one up here. So you go to Maryland because they're quite heavily Catholic. the governor's building, let's upgrade the barracks and our cannon foundry to get ready to build some decent artillery. And let's build some roads. 
good. I still keep clicking on resets and trade, and one thing I've not done is my ministers. God, that's awful. So Cornelius Hickey, plus one management for army. Plus one happiness. Yeah. Okay. So he's going to be quite good for the navy, but so is this guy. Minus one to treasury. So he's generally pretty... Okay, so I'm tempted to bring you over here. You over here. So you're morally impaired, so that's why I don't really want you. Boot, boot you out. Oh, you go, Jasper Fredericks. Brilliant. Um, can't do anything about my monarch unless I change my change my um, government type. But I don't think that would really be fitting with the with the. Uh, theme of the, the campaign to try and stay sort of well not necessarily historical because he's my king, I'm not really a king I don't really have a king um, I may have to knock my tax levels down just to try and get my growth going yeah I'm going to lose growth in Boston because of port, lack of ports Spain, no provinces are war Prussia and Poland Austria and Poland as in Portugal. Okie dokie. So upgrading my roads is probably going to be fairly important because I don't know how much of a standing army I'm going to be able to have. So I'm probably going to want to have good roads to be able to redeploy up and down the coast. And if I'm not going to be taking many of uh, if I'm not going to be taking many you know, of my inward, inward colonial possessions like the uh, Florida um, just yet, then I'm going to have less resources to put on the market, so my the initial trade boom is not likely to be as big as it was on my US campaign. But I think my first target is still going to be France. Bring in the Iroquois, give them land. Try and make it a limited war. But if they do force my hand, I will go down and take their land in... Uh, Brazil, because that's quite profitable. Now, particularly keeping an eye on the Dutch. If the Dutch are killed off, I immediately want to take their territory down there as well. The pirates are on the move. Russia and Britain have broken their alliance. Okay, let's go to school. Let's put a conservatorium to help offset the unhappiness bonus. Let's go to shipyard. Cheap road as well in Maine because Maine's got a couple of town and a port to grow, which would be nice if they would grow. It's got mines up, got my fur traders up, so my trade income should be a bit higher because of the pelts. Although I'm exporting one pelt to the entire Iroquois Confederacy. Yep, so Hartford has grown. Pressure of war. Good. I shall rest a little. So I don't move. Ooh. Interesting. So I need to be ready. Hopefully I can take take their possessions. Not too much of a fuss, but I need to keep an eye on um, with other other targets become more valuable such as Portugal um, Portugal's a good one to take in the European theatre particularly because we've seen they've broken their alliance with Britain so they may be completely isolated and if they've lost their territory in India it's just Lisbon, that's all they've got let's have a look See, I'd like to take Morocco, but I don't, think, I don't think Spain will let me. So, Portugal, friendly. They're a protector of Dagestan. Dagestan is doing their collections of countries again. It's, hand, well, it's handy, really, because Morocco is also a protectorate, so it'd be interesting if I could take both of these at the same time. Well, at a similar time. 
before I go too crazy. Let's get the roads up to a good standard. Okay, let's upgrade Charleston. Good. Not a very good army here, but oh, that's Lord, why we're sorry. trying to be friendly yes. with the uh, with the um, Cherokee. We are still shrinking. Roads will help, but not as much as having a school would. Let's hit our turn. Going to ground. Not that I really expected the Barbary States to actually win in that naval engagement, but it would have been fun if they did. Everyone seems to be acting fairly predictably at the minute, which is nice. No one's gone too crazy off the bat. I think the United Provinces have captured Brussels, looking around at the cities, which means that they, they are at war with Spain. Taking Brussels, that might mean that they will soon be at war with. Yeah, they are at war with France. Perfect. So France knocks them out to cover other nice little territories we can take. Mainly Paramaribo. Okay, so what's been built? Governor's residence. Let's upgrade the newer type of roads. Good, and some of my towns are starting to grow, finally. Let's get a bit of recruitment on the go, because what's this army like? Not great. Let's build a general. Andrew Hamilton. Got some militia, pikes. Get two line, line infantry and another pike unit. Another artillery unit, sorry. And, to be honest, I think that's all the recruitment I can do. Annapolis isn't. It's flat, but it's not really got much going for it. Like it's got no towns, it's just the, just the capital. Um, Philadelphia might be a good shout because it's got these towns that need to grow and it's got a farm and a mine so maybe something like Conservatorium might be quite good. Albany is still converting. Good. Okay, still can't research and tech. But next turn we'll have to buy the Opera House to help offset the clamour for reform. So Quebec is open. Underdeveloped, but open nonetheless. Oh, the French. No, nope, they're not coming to go kill me, which is nice. But yes, Quebec, one of our victory, victory conditions. And we'd like, it would be nice to give some of our land to our Native American allies. Mainly because they normally do something stupid. Remember how it's usually the Cherokee or the Confederacy normally trade Patras. Patras, damn it. With the Ottomans for land in the continental US. So, you need to keep an eye out for that happening because that could represent an interesting opportunity. I don't like how they're massing, but I hope they're going to go south against the Spanish. The Barbary State is still cruising. The pirates are still being cheeky little scamps. Good. I can get both capitals. 482 a turn, that's pretty good. Charleston's got basic roads, let's upgrade it. Both Migi, oh, that's not great. So these goods should be exported via New York. Let's upgrade the Opera House. Mm. 
governor's residence because it's cheap. Cheapish. And let's get a barracks in Philadelphia because well actually let's check. Nope, Napa, let's get a governor's residence. Good, and we can start researching. So let's start on probably some of these wealth earning ones. Or do I? Just, I can't help but just go for go for some military at least. Bayonets and canisters would be nice. Good, our army's starting to be built. Good, enter. No, but yes, as as is tradition with these sorts of uh, nations, you end up wanting to more often be conservative with what you've got so you don't end up you know directing your strategy in one area then immediately you get screwed over as they flank or come for a new direction or you know something sneaky like that happens because that's the most annoying thing in this game but yeah build up move on the french to be honest the army i've got would be probably fine i'd move to hit um, to the northeast, and then move to hit Quebec. But I'd probably like to have two half stacks to do that. One to move and well, to be honest, I might I wouldn't even need a half a, a big stack to hit the other one. Oh. Cherokee have captured uh, Florida. See, at some point, I'm gonna I am gonna have to declare war on the Cherokee because they're my some of my victory conditions. But I don't want to do it now because you know. I like playing this in a game where me and the Native Americans are living in perfect harmony. So yeah, you're, you are more than enough to go. More orders. Waiting further orders. Ready and yeah, waiting. More than enough, so you get up onto the border, Forward. ready to move. March. And then it's actually in Philadelphia. Do. I must only need two, don't I? I've only got two ports. Let's get ready to start station militia in these ports. Let's get the governor's palace, apparent governor's mansion in New York. I need to upgrade some regions to have better roads. I think. No. Good. They're ever so slightly growing now, very slowly. But it's not shrinking anymore, that's the big thing. New Haven's being developed, is growing, which is nice. Good, and turn. Ooh. Okay. So they've sailed their navy back with that army. Are they just going to drop it off the coast? Or... Oh, they're going to do something very sneaky. And actually sail around and land on my coast. Mm -hmm. Very curious as to what they're doing. They could be, yeah, they could be moving back to try and withstand the Iroquois. But we are going to move against France. Because I think it's theming. Because we did have the, Span the French and French Indian War. I just want to keep an eye out where these guys are going. Decent line infantry, got some good cannons. Just keep rebuilding, just keep recruiting. Occupy Man the ports. Forward. Immediately. Navy have they got. Some damaged fifths, fifth, six galleys and sloops. 
would be bad if I started building the navy up. Hmm. Ready and awaiting order. Okay, do I do something like this? Bring them back. Any further country. orders? Come crew general. Lord? But if I hit them, I want to have. Yes. That'll be enough to knock out More orders. the garrison here. Even with the couple of units, they'll get extra. But I want to have my army in Boston ready to respond. Because if they, they could just sail that around and actually attack me. See, look, they've done it. They've traded away Michigan territory for Venice. To Venice. Which is very frustrating. Okay, let's give it one more turn, see if they move their ships. They are quite strong. I'm going to try to get a trade agreement with the United Provinces. Well, to be honest, I need to look at who France is at war with, because I need to trade with people who are, who are at war with them to help keep the pressure on because one thing I don't want them to do is to be able to focus their effort on me Ooh, mighty require armies on the move These guys, eh, they're not massive, they're not a real worry. I've got my cavalry. I need to have good cavalry. So let's get a general. Silas Talbot. Let's get another general. And then let's make sure my infrastructure's up to snuff. Good. Some of the stuff I can build, not much. Op house would be good. More happiness and more wealth per turn. Sir. Get into ports. Orders. Good stuff. One turn to plug bayonets. Yes, my lord. One more turn, and I think we will land. I'm probably going to straight from plug bayonets to um, canister shot. Because that'll probably be the most. Well, I need to check if my demi cannons can actually use canister shot, because that would be very useful. Because we're not going to get into a bayonet war with the French, but we will get into a shooting war. So the having the canister shots, having canister shot unlocked would be great. To which trouble they could already have it unlocked. <laughs> Somewhere I need to position another school. Otherwise, they're going to be very, very unhappy with me. Well, otherwise, I'm going to fall behind on the tech. I could buy from other people, but I don't like doing that because I don't like giving the AI money. <laughs> Good, so they've got that. Straight on to canister shot. Good. Get the Royal Observatory to help get gentlemen to spawn. Philly, and then that lets let's move them up. Forward, Fighting in a position ready to move. At the ready. Who is France at war with? Not Britain, but Britain hates them. So, for battle. call my allies. 
Cherokee refused, but none of their allies joined. Which is lovely. Prepare for war! Dinky little battle, but because we haven't had an actual fight yet. Even I'm keen to get some to get some shooting done. But it's good that we're not at war with the rest of Europe. Hopefully because they're all entangled in, in such a cataclysmic conflict they cannot afford to come and deal with little old me. So they've all deployed up on the hill. So who's out on this flank? Let's bring the cavalry back. Let's position my infantry such that they're more able to get cavalry artillery support needs to be ready to do work because they just have nice final calm citizenry it's not great of a unit but still the cavalry needs to do work by my artillery. I think we fought just a little bit more. Okay, let's do this. Because I want more guns to bear. Okay, charge into them, because they're out of formation, so they won't get some shots off. them to crest the hill. These guys have a heavy job to do against just the line infantry alone. The artillery is not doing a very good job. Charge in once more. Shots off now.
They're not going to be expecting the general in the rear. Well, they are. Citizenry. Hold fire. These are shattered, so they're not going to come back. Get involved, but no plug bayonets. Absolutely flanked. Just to break your scurvy dogs. bayonets installed, I didn't want them to lose their musket firing capability. God damn. Don't worry, both my other infantry's got into the mix. Should be simple enough, so I'll speed up time a little bit. Just until my guns my troops into position. Here they've broken, but they're not shattered, so they could return. Far enough on a volley. Now oh, they've come back. So speed up time a little bit more. Could they all return? because we're just manoeuvring forces against a small army. There's nowhere really they can go except for like up here. That might be any use at all. Position. Just go for it. Just engage your bayonets and charge, I suppose. Three militia units versus one. I've got bayonets attached. Continue 
find yourself utterly attacked from all directions. Poor old French militia. Do you have the bayonets that are stuck on the end of their rifles? Still just be shaken, considering there's like. If you're not careful, you're about to get completely enveloped. It's just there's a scattering out here, and there's a thin line here. The French. End of battle. So we've got the ball rolling. Good. The territory is ours. Gives us access to not a whole lot at the minute, but it will end up giving us access to. Uh, a region that has two ports, I think, in the end. Louisbourg and Cape Fourchou. Gets me a silver mine. Good. Your humble servant. Okie dokie. So we've got Navy starting to be recruited. Hancock. Enter. It is concerning, that stack of troops. Not a lot we can do about it though. Still, the army that's hit Arcadia is going to push around the northeast border of the territory, around the hills, following where that army went. My big army is going to be uh, reinforced with stuff from Boston. Some line infantry and some artillery and some cavalry. And we'll then march on Quebec. Good. The Iroquois are still, still on the move. Still recruiting good, good amount of troops. Denmark is being Denmark. Good stuff. Pirates still being pirates. Government Council in Boston. Good. Ooh, could get to the next level. Let's get the Colonial Line Onward. to join Silas Talbot. Well, they're very heavily weighted towards cavalry at the minute. To, in, to infantry at the minute. So it could probably do with you and you. Probably be a better place to build a. Not worried about the Admiralty just yet, even though it does get me Marines. That probably to help build the income. Sir. Senor Catholic. So that'll be a job to bring up. Well, it's a job now. Falmouth's Protestant. Boston's 100% Protestant, so let's take you, get you up Bye, to Fort name. Nashwack. Good. Okay, let's have a look at my election. Justice is rubbish. You're just as bad. Can't do anything else. Still, this trade is unimpeded for now. This is still converting a few more turns. Cool. Spanish have been kicked off the continent, which is nice. So, you're still going to wait for the recruitment to finish. You're going to replenish and then move up and around and chase these guys away. Cool. Enter. 
So I think we've got, what, seven regions now? Well, we had seven regions when we started, and that's quite a lot for a minor nation to, <laughs> to kick off with. Brasher, power. Particularly as we're not going to be immediately driving inland to secure more more towns and more resources for trade. That's probably what we can do with Charleston growing. It's quite a nice little region, that. But nevertheless, we shall prevail. Has anything mental happened in Europe? Not that I can see on the map. The Swedes haven't taken over Denmark yet. I think the, actually, I think the, the Poles have taken Konigsberg. The Poles, or maybe they've traded it. I think Gdansk and Konigsberg have traded place places. I know Portugal's on a mission too. Hmm. It's a bit odd. They haven't really got much of a reason to venture the, into the. Uh, Eastern Mediterranean, but there we go. Barbary States being cheeky little scamps. Okay, let's build roads and the governor's residence here. Yes. Falmouth still. I guess we go for several buildings. Well, actually, it's probably best spent in Albany immediately. Philly, you can go for a... Oh. Oh, I was thinking about building a Royal Observatory to spawn gentlemen, but... It might be a good idea. Build barracks. Plenishment's still, well, not ongoing, because you ran out of money. If you left, orders. they'd be a bit grumpy, but generally unha generally happy. Your humble so let's move them around up here. Let's raid forests. What do you require? Your orders. Let's send my spy around to have a look. Your Good. The Iroquois Confederacy are on the move, so let's move my this guy up to Quebec. What they need to do is be in a good position to hit Ready. Quebec. See lots of militia. Lord. I've got lots of better infantry. To be honest, I could probably take it, but still like. Yeah, one, one more turn when I get those guns and cavalry up. <laughs> the French have sailed they've sailed inland, dropped off their troops and sailed back. Yes. Yes, Iroquois. Take Montreal. Take Montreal. There is a navy that's gone up to the port in Quebec where there is an army, so we'll wait and see if they've decided if they'll decide to uh, send them somewhere annoying. But we'll see. Regrouping. No, don't take her back. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. They're on the move, so I'm probably not gonna I'm probably not gonna outpace them there. And I am probably not going to... Well, I can't sail there. Because these guys will intercept. Lord? Your Damn. The Setting up camp. 
Yes, oh, sir. Let's engage this small army. Glorious victory. Yes. Do that ah! just in case they do something funny. New royal heir, Isaac. Good, because your king is a jerk. Forty-seven. Promotes favorites. Likes uniforms. Man ready. Mark. Come, council. Okay, so I'm, okay, okay. So they might, if the French go, for, if the Iroquois go for Quebec, I might be able to take Montreal and Cayuga, and I won't give it back, or I will, I'll trade it back for Quebec. That could work. One more turn to a cast shot, which would be lovely. And take again. There is an army in. I don't like how they're heading my way. So they've pushed into town. So what might have to happen is the guns and artillery I've sent up to reinforce my large army. I might join them up with my smaller stack and send my large army west. Oh no. Nope, they've left it open, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go send my big army up to Quebec and send my small army west to help chase down wherever those French are going because they could capture one of my cities. But it shouldn't it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a big deal. If they did. It's the Barbary State. So this is the thing thing is the Ottomans that must be quite fun. It's because you got the Barbary States on, they're protecting your flank, and they're also raiding the hell out of everyone in the med. So it must be quite fun from their perspective. Maybe very tempting just to pump them full of naval techs to keep their navy being strong. Or just sending them money. Even though the Ottomans are one of those empires that they say, you know, it's an absolute money pit to start off with, it'll probably make a load of cash. Yes, I'm a bit concerned about how close they are to Philadelphia, which is my capital. So. Lord? So I can sell my ships up here out of range. But let's test if my sneaky plan works. If I do that, good. Well, they can move, but they can't move very far. So I want to move them back to here. Sir. The Lord. Ready for order. See you move up. They are trapped! They hide behind women. At the red. I'm just curious to see how far these guys can move up and then let's send them this direction immediately. Let's build some Hessian line ready. Because it shouldn't take them it should take them a couple of turns to get through this terrain. Let's get you even better roads. Good. Okie dokie, and then let's... Let's attack Quebec. Um, so I'd like to take Quebec. If we could take Montreal, give Montreal to the Iroquois, bit to trade it. And try and make peace with the French. If they will not make peace, then I will take Newfoundland. I will ask for peace. If they do not make peace, then I will go and hit their territory in... I'm not going to all-out blitz all of their territory, I'm just going to... I'm going to give them the opportunity for peace, but it's up to them whether or not they choose to take advantage of it. Let's have a look at my troops. It's like a darker red version of British, so more like wine red. They're pretty good. Lots of weak units of line, so you need to be careful about how these guys are used. Keep my pikes ready. Actually, that's a good idea. Well, actually, saying that, I'm on the, I'm on the attack, so a bit too relevant. Take these guys up here. 
recruit them up with some strong line infantry. So let's recruit them together. Split my cavalry up. General in the centre. Skirmishers are going to do something skirmishy, but I'm not sure what yet. Bit better at least. Uh, good shooting still, so. Send my cavalry up around in this same direction. Because who's up here? Four years of fishing lines, some militia. Let's run them into position. Getting these guys kind of massacre shooting the militia. Too. These look, guys look more French than than uh, royalist Americans. Okay, okay didn't she take out some militia even they're out of range? Hopefully these guys shall fail. Let's go knock out that Bowman Auxiliary unit, because he's given us the opportunity. Let's get my artillery to start plinking at some of the units that are coming in onto the field. Nope, fall back. I 
infantry and get the rest of the fresh in. Got too close to the Hessian line infantry for comfort. So that needs to open up on them to make the fire as quickly to make them route as quickly as possible. There is a unit of Ottawa Scouts. in because these are warrior scouts. Please, I see all you native bows out here. Two of you at least. Okay, so I think my pikemen are just going to go on a bit of a melee tear through the uh, through the town. Jesus, this is where all their bows are. Just want to shatter them so they don't come back. Time to come up, so you guys fall back. Yeah, that's the end of you, chaps. You chaps. <laughs> Fix bayonets. Get in there. Pikes have charged in. Squidgy, squidgy infantry. Oh, thank God. I thought the game had crashed. <laughs> I don't know if you heard me go, oh no, what's happened? Um, but yeah.
the game screen just went black for some reason. Bayonet charging. We'll see who takes the glory from this field. Run down the bowman. Turn off the camera for now. God, how, could, how on earth could these guys win against all those pointy sticks? In the session line, you chose the wrong side. All directions. Actually, they're, yeah, they're doing pretty good. Let's just watch. The sixth Regiment of Foot. It's beautiful battles. More of our chaps getting involved in the back. These poor souls. They've decided to stick around. Come on, you silly fools. Everyone you love is dead. They've all gone. Broken. All of them. See if you last long enough for my cavalry to make it around to you. In the meantime, let's watch these guys, because they've done super well. That's the end of them. Good old pikes. People say pikes are useless in the gun era. I disagree. I Every post isn't is honourable in which a man can serve his country. Easy to say that when you are the president, Mr. Sucker. Sound the call to battle. Perfect! Quebec is ours. Um but this could all go horribly wrong. Depending on what these guys do. I'd like the Ericard to take Montreal, personally, but we shall see. Um anyway, oh, let's change this before I forget. Eh, empiricism. Good. Um, oh, this is a, I've checked all this. Uh, anyway, looking at the timer, I believe it's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this first part. And, yeah, hope to see you guys next time. Because I think it should be quite a fun campaign. We've got some fun objectives. I'm, I'm deliberately trying to play it differently than I played my other campaigns. Do you know I'm Mexico? <laughs> Um, yes, so cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the further adventures against France, although not too long adventures. Right here. Cheers, guys. Yeah.